Hey everybody, this is Ian from the Ozo team at Nokia. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the uh, basic features in Ozo Preview, which is our standalone player app for viewing your 360 degree footage, which is ideally stereoscopic. Just as a reminder, Ozo Preview is a free download from ozo.nokia.com and is available with the purchase of an Ozo camera, and of course is available for both Mac and PC. Now, I've already preloaded a clip here, which was demonstrated in the first chapter of Creator Basics. And I'm just going to press play and let this to continue looping for a little bit. So looping controls are here with the two arrows going around in a circle. So if I stop now and press play, it's no longer going to loop. Turn that back on and let it continue to go. Uh, there's a couple of hotkeys which are helpful. If I press I on the keyboard, I can tell where I'm at within my uh, 360 degree space and in turn this updates as I rotate around the scene. It's also telling me the current time and the total duration of this clip. I'm currently negative 40 degrees off of zero and if I want to simply return to zero, I can press C on the keyboard, which will snap me back there. I turns that back off. I can still mouse around the entire scene. Press I again to see where I'm at. This is really helpful if you need to uh, make notes that you're passing off to your Stitcher or editorial team or client, etc. You can bring up this display, have them note in degrees the area of the uh, stitch that they're looking at and in turn provide you with feedback. Now, it's important to note that I can zoom in right now and zoom back out. And down here in the right corner, uh, the highlighted white area shows me the current field of view, uh, which updates as I rotate. So I have 88 degrees field of vision, and I'm currently looking at 317 degrees off axis, 360 minus 413, 317. If I zoom in, my field of view now decreases. And if I zoom out past that, it goes to 100%. So this is helpful to get some context of what it is you're actually looking at. Now, it's important to note that I am currently looking at this uh, is in monoscopic. However, this is a stereo file. And to demonstrate that, here is the actual file just playing within QuickTime. And I have left and right, top and bottom. So what Preview is doing is allowing me to actually look at the one eye in this case, but have the ability to navigate within the desktop environment. Now, if I want to view this on an HMD, I can certainly do that. So this is really a nice tool for emulating what the HMD environment would look like. Another important feature from Preview is the ability to connect and control playback through MIDI controls from a digital audio workstation. This enables your sound designer or mixer to make important sonic decisions based on the 360 degree environment that they're working in. So those are the basics of Ozo Preview. If you have any additional questions, be sure to check the help guide from within the app or head over to ozo.nokia.com to check out our support areas. Either way, thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos in the series.